Welcome back to Also News TV and today we have another transfer video. Today the transfers are very shocking and very interesting in my point of view. Therefore, make sure you stay throughout the whole video. Other than that guys, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you know when I upload. Hit the like button if you like the video and comment below what transfers you are, you are interested to see. Other than that guys, stay throughout the whole video. The first shocking transfer I'm going to talk about is Chelsea star Jorginho. So the headlines state that Arsenal eye Chelsea star Jorginho in shock transfer as midfield alternative to Jose Mauer and Thomas Partey. So the reports are stating that Sky Sports claim the midfield playmaker has emerged as an alternative to Leon's Jose Mauer and Atletico Madrid's Thomas Partey. Jorginho has scored 10 goals in 100 games for Chelsea following a £50 million move from Napoli in 2018. But his association with former boss Maurizio Sarri has seen in divide opinion amongst Blues supporters. Virginia's first season at Stamford Bridge saw him sit at the base of a midfield three, playing simple passes while forcing Angola Kante into an unfamiliar attacking role on the right. However, his game transferred during Frank Lampard's time in charge. And some fans even feel Virginia is a better partner for Matteo Kovacic than Kante these days. He started Chelsea's opening two Premier League games this season against Brighton and Liverpool and also are now believed to be weighing up an audacious approach after already landing Willian on a free transfer from their capital rivals. However, Lampard sees Eugenio as an important player of their squad. The former Verona man has become a leader in the dressing room and was named Chelsea's new vice-captain at the start of the 2019-2020 campaign. Arsenal may therefore be best served by continuing to pursue one of Awa or Party. Leon playmaker Alwa is thought to be Arteta's number one midfield target, but Arsenal have already had one bid rejected for the Frenchman and are struggling to put funds together for a new assault. Meanwhile, Atletico Madrid won £45 million for the defensive minded party, despite their interest in a long move for Lucas Torreira. So, that is the um, news regarding Jorginho. My point on this I don't think we need him. He's bang average, he's not my sort of player. He's not defensive like for a defensive midfielder, so don't buy him please. I just don't want to see Jorginho in the Arsenal shirt. So the next piece of transfer we're going to talk about is Samuel Umtiti. So the reports are stating, I mean the headlines are stating that Manchester United and Arsenal in five club transfer battle for Samuel Umtiti as they eye Barcelona star to strengthen defences. So the reports are stating that the French defender is under contract until 2023 but after a number of knee injuries the Catalans were not off the books. Arturo Vidal, Rakitic, Nelson Semedo and Luis Suarez have already left part as part of new boss Ronald Koeman's summer overhaul. Now France football claims Umtiti could be the next one to depart and the defender is in high demand. According to the news outlet there are five teams who won the 26 year old ex on ace. The Gunners and Red Devils are allegedly the two with the most significant interest in it. United are looking for an extra, extra defender to compete with Victor Lindelof and Eric Bailly to play alongside Harry Maguire and Mikel Arteta is also working on a res re restructuring job at Arsenal and appears to want to add the star to his squad. French side Rennes are also keen to bring him in ahead of their maiden Champions League campaign but they face competition from Lyon who also hope him, for, hope him to return. However, they are unable to make any transfer moves until the future of Memphis Depay is resolved. And Antonio Conte's Inter Milan are the other side inter interested as they want to replace Diego Godin and add some pace into their back leg. So my views on Samuel Umtiti. He's a decent player at that time in Barcelona, but now with injuries and that, do you really need him? He is a quality defender, he will add depth to the squad, so it depends on how much he is worth. If he's probably just has low wages and low um, price tag then we can get by him other than that if he's too high for our for our club then just get rid of him we don't need him so that's it with my view on Samuel Umtiti so the next piece of transfer news is about Philippe Coutinho so the headlines state that also plotting late Philippe Coutinho bid as Mikel Arteta refuses to give up on Barcelona start so the reports are stating that the Gunners have been heavily linked with a bid for the Barcelona playmaker before turning their attention to Leon A's Hussein Awa. And Coutinho's agent ruled out 
a move away from the new camp this window, with the player in the plans of new boss Ron Cumin. But according to Spool, even though the ex Everton Cafe is an a fan of the 28 year old, the club's financial system means that they are open to this thing to offers for him. And with Arsenal struggling to match Leon's asking price for Aua, it has been said they could go back in for the Brazilian international. The Spanish news outlet have claimed Miklotic aside are willing to bring Coutinho to North London on, a, on loan. Coutinho is seen as a cheaper alternative to Aua, which will allow Arsenal to pursue Atletico Madrid midfielder Thomas Party. The ex Liverpool star who is in line to start against Valeria at the week weekend still has three years to left to run on his deal in Catalonia. It has been said that the Lugrana wouldn't entertain selling him for less than £64 million. Should Coutinho join Arsenal, it would ultimately signal the end for Meza Ozil, who has been once again frozen out of the side this season. After failing to make the Arsenal squad against Leicester in the Carabao Cup on Wednesday, Arteta was asked about Ozil's absence. And he stated that the team is evolving and you can see the level they are achieving. And he also says that this is what we are at the moment and we have to evolve more and play better and compete better. So that's his summary on Mesut Ozil's situation. However, my views on Coutinho is that with the system Arteta is playing right now, I don't see where he fits. It's another um, playmaker just like Mesut Ozil. I don't think he has the adaptability to play more on the left or play more deeper into the uh, midfield. So I don't know why we're going to sign Philip Coutinho. I understand he's a star signing, but I feel as though we're in a situation now with under Mikel Arteta, you have to buy players that are suited to him. Back in the Wenger days and back before that, and even maybe in Emery time as well, we used to just buy players that are big names but just don't fit, fit our system. So I feel as though my thoughts on Coutinho I don't think we need him. I just don't think we need him. So don't buy him, please. Now we have came to the end of the video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button and comment below what the, of these transfers do you want to see at Arsenal. I have stated my point of view, but I, want to, I am really curious about what your point of view is as well. If you made it this far into the video, comment above me in the comments so I know you made it this far and I'll really be appreciative. Thanks guys and stay blessed. Peace.